Hello folks and welcome back. We're just doing the updates after 1.20 and 1.21 this morning and I was looking through my YouTube pages and there was a comment from a user saying what's going on with GT1 race at Daytona? My tyres are wearing too fast. And I instantly replied, don't you worry about it. It's not a problem with the tyres, just keep on, crack on. But I then finished what I was doing, went over to it and we do find out that there are changes. Look, they've changed the PP. I've had to actually change my setup on the Tomahawk to be able to do this. So we keep the high RPM turbo. turbo. I've lowered the downforce on front and rear. And I've also reduced the ballast from 80 to 53. Now we're going to keep using hard tyres. And I can tell you, this is, this, is, this is hard, folks. They've made this proper hard. It's, it's not easy with this car. It is, it's a fight. You can pause those setup screens and watch it. You, you know the score. Pause it, watch it, have a look. Set your car up the same. Settings will be traction control one, default ABS. I actually think they've made a mistake. I think they, they've made this, unless they're just trying to nerf the Tomahawk, not really sure. Um, I think they've made a mistake with the tyre wear on the hards. On this race, just like Bathurst, they've actually done the correction. I think they missed this one. I think. I think the one stopper with the single set of tyres on 10 laps is probably justified. But here we go, we're going to have to do this race now with a single stop and we're going to have to change tyres. The wear is that aggressive, I'm afraid. So you can watch that uh, tyre indicators on the bottom left-hand corner. So immediately as we cross the line, we've changed the power setting down to 4 from 6. We needed to do that because we're going to get five laps of uh, running in on one tank of fuel. So we need to stop for tyres and a full tank. So that's going to be approximately a 40 second stop, something like that. And as usual on this race, you've got to go like the beans. You've got to go like the clappers from the start as much as you can in power setting four. You can't miss a corner, which I did there. Jesus Christ. He set, opens his mouth and immediately drops the clanger. But here we go as we go, round this corner for the first time. Now I've probably run this race a dozen times this afternoon, failing miserably. Coming second by six seconds, four seconds. I've tried to do it as a single stop, back right hand tyre pops. It's just a waste of time. And that little patch of yellow paint is the world's biggest unfair piece of tarmac in the world because the AI don't get penalised by it, it seems. They might do, but I don't see the flag or a penalty flag for them. So here we go, down lap one. Remember what we do, we cross the line, we lift and we coast because we've got to make every lap count. We need all the fuel. The change in downforce makes the car not want to go round the corners that much, but what it does do is it really gives you that little bit more speed a little bit more run into the corners and I suppose it doesn't really matter with um, with the tyre wear because we're going to change the tyres anyway there we go push on don't delay don't let them block your route lean on them if you have to there I am after all you wouldn't want to do this online of course you wouldn't you want to do this race you wouldn't do this race with your mates well now in my mates, I probably would. But in terms of racing against the AI, AI, all love and war, mate. Let it go. If you want it to, hit them. I hate them. Anyway, they're real people at the end of the day. No, they're not. They're AI. Let's, um, let's see what Sophie's going to bring to us later in the day. But here we go, approaching the chicane. You can break, lift off on the two, break on the one third gear for me through here some people might try fourth gear works for me in third now on the old setup we were running 130s 131s we dipped into the 130s or at least i did earlier mr bouvoir there is it no it was mr bouvoir he's going to the pits he pits after two laps no fuel whatsoever so does mr sus willow Usual lift off, second gear for that. Oh, and that set of tyres on the left hand side just then. Does my. How many times have I hit them today? But saying that, this is about. I'd say it's about a 12th go. 
and the races are different. So if you are stuck on one, don't don't worry about it. Just end the race, start again, you'll pick up another rotation. Because I came across a rotation and it was the one road it was the one race where I chose not to pit. And on lap seven, the lap after Mr. Miyazano pitted, he got stuck behind a back marker that had run out of fuel. And if my tyres hadn't have popped on lap eight, I'd have won it. If I'd have pitted that race, I'd have won it. So, a bit like a couple of other races of late, there was a GR1 race at or one of the Japanese tracks a little while ago. I ran the CLK. The, C the AI were running out of fuel on the last lap. They didn't pit, they didn't bother. So it looks like they've got a few mistakes with the AI and the AI intelligence. Sophie looks a long way off, I'm afraid. So we're targeting two more laps. There goes Mr. in Austria for tyres. He's running softs. He's only capable of three laps in this game. Here's my teammate, Mr. Hizel. I don't show him any respect. A bit like racing with certain F1 drivers we know you can be their teammate but they don't care about you Mr Alonso however let's move on dispatch my teammate into the boondocks another purple sector that's what you've got to keep doing fuel loads getting lighter tyre wears wearing but we're making progress we're up to fifth everyone's a winner no sign of any lapped cars they look to be a long way off getting lapped nothing's that slow now I reckon there's other cars that are going to be competitive in this race now that you can do it with. I reckon the Mazda will do it, the 787B, because that's good on fuel wear, isn't it? Fuel usage, not tyre wear, fuel usage. So that would be good to try and stretch that so you only have to pit for tyres, that would be good. I'm guessing Mr Miyazano, the guy at the front running the McLaren, I think, We'll find that out when we get to the end. But as I say, don't like the AI. No holds barred. I've only ever nerfed twice. Once at Tokyo, way back in the day, and another race not so long ago. I'm afraid today is day three of the nerfs. The dive bomber. That's what I think my site, my. My page is going to have to be called from now on Dive Bomber the Widowmaker. Widowmaker the Dive Bomber, that would actually suit, I think. But here it is, running round lap four. We've got to do lap five, how we're looking on fuel. We are on lap five. We're at 0.8, so that's about good. We might run out just as we enter pit lane, but we're going to make sure we get the maximum out of it. I did try and conserve fuel for one race halfway through. So we had to fill up less. But what I found out is that you don't make any progress. When you try and conserve fuel any further than Type 4, you're just not gaining anything. You're not overtaking. And look at it. We're in second place by halfway through. We're a matter of nine seconds behind. 9.5, 9.6. And we're catching the boy. So there's a chance for us. He's got a pit. And he's going to pit after the case. But he's actually not going to take on a massive amount of fuel. So we've still got to race this bad boy, but we've made up 30-odd seconds, folks. No, we haven't. We've made up 20 seconds from the 30-odd second deficit. But we're still setting purple sectors. We're still in the 32s. We're not as fast as we were, but we're consistent, which is, which is better. Here we go, pit lane. No slowing down. We ran out of fuel just as we crossed the line there. So taking tyres... I wonder if they fixed that as well, the display of wet to standards. I don't know, we'll have to see. Those are massive wheels, aren't they? I don't know how they put up with any anything, they're huge. See my bodywork damage there. Oops. Gave a couple of people some love taps. Interesting slots above the wheels. So is he going to tell us to engage first gear? No, he just lets us go. And where do we come out? 10th place, some 21 or 31 seconds down. 
that's 31 seconds down so we've gone all the way back to where we started but what we do know is Mr Miyazano's got a pit so at the end of the day he's going to take half the amount of fuel we took and he's going to take a set of tyres I'd guess with that being the case we need to make about 10 seconds plus his pit stop this is lap 6 we're in 8th place half a pack of cigarettes and a full tank of gas we've got a long way to go anybody recognise the film quote name the film in the comments below there you go Mr Miyazano's in he's got 25% of fuel he needs to fill up to something probably like I don't know 60% 50% something like that to be able to finish the race gone for hards again we're absolutely spamming it we're on the nitrous we're trying to catch up as much as we possibly can Mr Cookerbun's there he's in the pits Miyazano's still fuming he's finished his fuel at 53% do not hit that inside tyre wall we are now 11 seconds off the lead car which Mr Hazal and I know he's going to pit again Mr Miyazano in second Mr. Yamanaka in third, Mr. Gallo fourth, Mr. Wong in fifth. You cannot make mistakes, folks. You just any 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 little mess ups. Here we go. Dive bomb number one. We put ourselves on the inside. We made a door for ourselves. We push on through. really am enjoying this game at the minute really am I I appreciate update 1.20 has made a few changes 1.21 should have fixed some but this this is a real challenge and it's like a chat I've just done on Facebook with a couple of my subscribers I don't know if they are subscribers they're users on GT forum at the end oh we almost got a penalty there's there's people that love the game but hate the races and I get that you hate them while you're doing it. And when you put it behind you, when you've won it, you think, I never want to do that again. This was one of those races for me. I just, I don't really enjoy the fantasy cars, the VGTs, the cars of the future. I don't really get them. I have no intention of owning an electric car ever. I know I'm about to go and probably buy my last car. So, I've currently got a car on a lease because it was the cheapest thing to do at the time and I do enjoy the car but now it's that lease is up I'm gonna buy my next car and it's gonna be the car to the end of the day now I did promise myself a Porsche but that Porsche ain't gonna come I don't think we'll just have to see back to the racing here we go so We're in second place, we've done all the dirty stuff, we're on lap 8, so there's 9 and 10, the rest of this lap to go and two more. We've got Mr Miyazano, he's a good 6 seconds ahead, hopefully we'll start to see him, we'll start to reel him in. We've done a 131, that's the first 131 that we've done in this track, well done son. Went a bit wide there, but we found the limit. There he is. There's the boy. He's 4.3 seconds ahead. We're knocking time off this. We've got to catch him. How are we for fuel? 2.2 laps. So we can't really afford to use the nitrous at this point because we are going to run out of fuel if we carry on. That's the two lap point. When that drops to 1.9, it's on the line. We're going to run out. Just tap that wall on the right hand side the two cars behind us go to the pits so that means there's a bigger gap behind us we don't need to look behind we're now looking ahead there he is he's just made the turn mr miyazano we're on lap nine so there's one more lap to go after this so no desperate moves just yet i'm reeling in him in it two to three seconds a lap so there's a chance we could be with him at the end of this lap I'll probably a bit slow into there let's slingshot it out breaking on the apex of this corner here just there 
how are the tyres looking? They're actually looking so much better than they did last time round. The first set wore very, very quickly, didn't they? And they're still wearing more heavily on the right-hand side rear, front side left. I wonder if there was a way you could work out the tyre wear. Not sure. Breaking on the one. Cutting that apex. Oh, I fluffed that. Let's get right. Make sure we don't... We just missed that beautifully. Oh, very good. But we've not made any gains. It's 2.3 seconds ahead. Wonder what his top speed's like. Can we catch him down here? So he's telling us we've got 1.1 laps of fuel. One laps when it goes to 0.9 is the full lap indicator. There we go. We're off the gas. So we're coasting at this point. Saving fuel. Don't hit that tyre, almost hit that tyre, Jesus. Come on, push, push, push. Let's go. You can't turn your fuel map up to gain any ground. It's looking desperate now. I've got all that half a tank of nitrous left. Oh, here we go. We're catching him. He's left it wide. We've opened the door. We've T-boned him. Oh, dear. We push past, oh, we're there. We're into first place. We've got 0 0.7 left on the fuel. If we get around this corner, we've got 0 0.6. We've got a chance. We're good, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, there it is. We might just give it the full beans and nitrous all the way from the exit of the chicane to the finish line. We're gonna have to do something. We don't need a penalty on the end of exit of the chicane, do we? Just to bring things in, we don't need that penalty. Take your time, fourth, nice line in, third gear, oh, oh no, oh penalty, but it doesn't matter, once you get the penalty, and there it is, we knew we were getting that, we talked ourselves into that, here we go, heading for the line, all the nitrous you can give it, 0 0.10 fuel, we're going to run out, and he's dropped well back, he's not even going to bump us over the line, we got this, there it is, there's the win, Happy days, we don't need to worry about that anymore. Oh my lord. And there it is folks, no major changes. The Tomahawk still reigns at Daytona. He looks a bit pissed with me though, Mr. 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 in second place. Oh, doesn't he? So, Mr. Miyazano. 0.4 of a second behind us. And that's it folks, thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.